What is happening, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It is uh, Tuesday, and my name is Joe, just your average Joe, hanging out in the garage, getting ready to go over some sales with y'all. Don't have a whole lot going on today, so this one certainly will be a shorter video than the last. The, the last video, so last video got like hardly no traction because it was like an hour and some change, and so I, I kind of figured uh, the video before that got some decent traction because I was talking about how eBay's dead. So it felt, you know, I was like, so now we're back to, should be back to a nice short video. So hopefully this gets a little bit of traction. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Um, I've been reselling full time on eBay for eight years. So any new resellers to the game, I'm certainly here to help. If you have any questions or anything I can help out with, uh, you know, through my experience, if I can help things, help you out a little bit, make things a little easier for you. Uh, you know, that's kind of why I do all this. So, uh, but we're going to go over sales. Don't have a whole lot to cover today. You're hanging out with just your average Joe here on YouTube, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what sold. And it was only five items, five items for a total of two eighteen twenty three. Five items for two eighteen twenty three. So not too bad between yesterday and today. Um, you know, uh, hit goal. My goal, if you've been with me before, you know my goal is two hundred dollars a day or fourteen hundred dollars for the week. So whichever one I would, you know, you're gonna have some days where you got like hardly any sales, and other days you get like seven eight nine hundred dollars in sales possibly i mean it just depends on or a thousand or plus it just depends on what sells um you know it's all over the place it's ebb and flows ups and downs and uh that's that's the journey of ebay it's fun uh it's always something new so and it's it's never a dull moment on ebay or with with ebay so um we'll go over these sales and like i said i don't have a whole lot to cover in fact we didn't even have any comments on the last video except for uh justin who shared uh, that he's got like 50 items up and sold. He's selling on, on average like two items a day uh, that he's in the winter time uh, down in Australia and it's uh, his sales are going pretty well. Um, so kudos to you, Justin. Um, I didn't have any other comments, so really no comments to cover as far as that goes. Um, hopefully sales stay like this. I mean, my plan today is to put up a bunch of stuff on eBay again. Uh, yesterday I didn't really put anything up, but, uh, today my plan is I got a whole stack of loose games, um, uh, that are, that are pretty good games, uh, at least $10 or better. So I'm going to be putting up a bunch of those today. I got a whole stack of them, probably 50 games or so. I might try to hammer them all out. Games are pretty easy to list. So might try to hammer all those out today, or at least half that stack today and maybe the other half tomorrow and get through that. Um, but I, I also have a few things to process on my, on my table. If y'all been with me before, you know, I got my processing table on the other side of these racks. So I've got like a guitar hero guitar and, um, just a few other odds and ends, nothing crazy. I, I even forget what's over there right now. Uh, controllers and things like that. I need to test. So nothing crazy. Um, I went to go do a deal today, which I might, I may post that I may put this as, as clickbait, but you know, marketplace deal gone bad. So I went this morning, uh, me and a gentleman were, have been conversating for the past maybe week in regards to his, um, he's got a, he's got listed, he's got a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo, a Genesis, um, and then a Genesis Mini, uh, and he wanted, he had it listed for 150 no cables, no controllers, he said they work, but you know, I will say in my experience, Nintendo, Super Nintendos, and Genesis are tanks, they, they pretty much work for the most part, so um, it's just a matter of, I got to buy cables. Actually, I have cables for some of them. And then I have controllers for some of them. I may not be able to fulfill everything on those, but you know, I can always buy, buy whatever I'm missing. Uh, so 120 asked him if he'd go 120 said yes. So we've been, we've been trying to figure out a time to meet Well, he finally was like, you know, Hey, cause I, I tell him I'm, I'd usually meet in the mornings. Cause as the day goes on, it just gets harder and harder for me to meet. Typically I got just stuff just starts piling up. So, uh, we, we, we agreed last night to meet at 720 this morning at a local McDonald's. I showed up, messaged him on the way, didn't get nothing. And that's right off the bat. You start getting that feeling like, oh, this guy ain't showing up. You know what I mean? Because I got no reply. Well, I get to the McDonald's. Um, I'm there, message him, let him know I'm there. Wait, wait, wait. Then he finally messages back and says, oh, sorry, my phone was dead. Um, oh, I'm downtown. Can you come to me? And I'm like, mm, no, I'm not going to downtown Fayetteville. No, thank you. Um so we, I left, I was, I was pretty, pretty hot at that point. I wasn't nasty to him. I really wanted to be, but I, I just, you know, I took the high road and was like, you know what, whatever. Um, I, I may, I given him benefit of the doubt at this point. He still, he said, let me, let me figure out my work schedule. Maybe we can meet another time. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. If, uh, I don't hear back from him by like later on today, maybe tomorrow, 
then I'm just going to leave him feedback, say that this dude's a, a, a joker, his puncture, you know, leave him a one star and, and just keep it moving. I mean, it's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep fiddle, fiddle farting with them. So, you know, marketplace deal gone bad. Doesn't happen a ton, but it does happen sometimes. I hate the situations and I'm, I don't know if any of y'all had this happen, but you go do a marketplace deal and then uh, they just go ghost on you. You 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 got a meeting spot. You they got a time. You got whatever, and they just ghost. Like this guy at least messaged me back, so I'm gonna try to give him benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? But the ones that just straight ghost you, it's like, come on, man, are you just playing games, trying to have people meet places and then just not show up and just just to play games? Like you got nothing better to do with your time to do BS like that. Anyway, so that's what I got going. Uh, I do have another pickup tonight actually scheduled for tonight. Um, it's a, it's four PS twos, um, couple controllers, a couple of the hookups. I don't think it's got everything complete, but it's got a couple, a couple of memory cards, but, uh, he says they all work. I doubt it, but he says they all work. But again, even with PS twos, normally it's just the CD drive and those are pretty, pretty easy to swap out. And they're pretty in a, in a, in a, uh, they're pretty cheap to to uh, for the parts and things like that. So normally, uh, like right now, I'm in the process of actually fixing a fan on one. So I'm waiting for the fan to come in. It just plugs in and plug unplugs. It's pretty simple. I've replaced the little lenses, the the lasers. Those are pretty simple to fix too. So uh, if they don't work, normally it's because they don't read discs. So, uh, but he says they all work. They all read discs is what he's telling me. He said he'll do. He want. He added up for 150 for all four. I asked him if he go 130. He said yes. So right now we're at 130 for four, uh, two slims and two regular fat uh, PS2s. So four total. Uh, and again, I think there's two controllers. I think it's like two memory cards. And I'm not sure about all the hookups, but I've got I've got all the hookups if need be. So um, so that'll be tonight. Typically a PS2 with a bundle of games, I normally get about 120. So you know I'm basically three times my you know, should be able to three times my money on these you know um, with that with that purchase. So uh, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys as far as that goes. Um, you know, tell me about your experiences. Y'all ever had any bad marketplace experiences as far as like just people not showing up or just a bad experience uh, with people? M m typically, it's this for me. It's they people just either ghost you or they or they don't show up and and uh, or they sell it out from under you. I had a really good deal with somebody else, and uh, it was it last week. I didn't even share this with you guys. I don't think I I'm, I. Uh, I was on my way to meet this guy. We had agreed on the price, agreed on everything. Next thing you know, I'm on the way to meet him and he puts his listing as pending or no, he puts his listing as sold. And I was like, is that sold because I'm coming to get it? Or is that sold because you sell, sold it to someone else is what I sent to him. And uh, he said, oh, I just sold it to someone else. Are you kidding me? That, that burns me up more than anything. Cause that's just blatantly disrespectful. I mean, like we just, we had a deal lined up and of course, Nine times out of 10, what they say is, well, they were willing to pay full price for it. So I sold it to them. Okay, fair. I, I understand that you need the money. I understand that, you know, I, I asked for a deal and you agreed to it and we were going to meet, but then you got someone else pop through and say, hey, I'll pay full price. Understood that that's, that's the game sometimes and that's okay. But at least give, give the person you're dealing with enough respect to say, hey, I know we made a deal for X dollars, but I had somebody else just message me and they're willing to go full price. So do you want to, do you want to do full price and, and still get it? Or am I going to sell it to that person? That's all. That's just a simple message. That's all you got to do. Just be respectful. Like stop messing with my cable. Stop messing, Dad, with, stop messing with my cable Dad, here. When you, stop, when you, <laughs> stop messing with my cable here. Dad, <laughs> what? whenever you go inside, can I use some hot things? When I go inside, can you get some jalapenos? Yeah. On what? What are you gonna eat them with? Nothing. Just no. You're not eating jalapenos. Look, we're gonna we can eat do lunch in about an hour and a little over an hour. No. I want some jalapenos. I'm on YouTube right now, and people don't want to hear me go back and forth with you right now. Just daddy. If you want to eat a jalapeno, go eat a jalapeno. No, not from our garden. Yeah, I know the other jalapeno. What are you gonna? You're just gonna eat it plain? Yeah. Can you wait till I'm done? Yeah. That's okay. That's what I mean. Okay. The thing's hard to open. Okay. You're silly. You, what? Nothing. All right. Um, so yeah, so the marketplace, man, it can be, it can be, it's a great place to source, man, but you do get those Yahoo sometimes and just blatantly don't give and, and scammers. There's tons of scammers on there. So you gotta be careful. But, uh, anyway, let's go over sales. Uh, again, five sales for a total two eighteen twenty three. Uh, first thing that sold was a Lego Lego this Lego guy. The last one I sold of these, I didn't realize it was opened. 
this one is sealed. So I thought they were all sealed. I got these for five bucks a piece, uh, four of them. One already sold for like $25. Um, so I technically I've already, I'm already in the profit for the next three of them, but they are slow sales, unfortunately. So, uh, I picked these up, I want to say back in like April, uh, at a yard sale, but, uh, this one sold for $25, uh, plus shipping on that one. In fact, uh, yeah, $25 plus shipping on that one. So that's pure profit now on that one. Cause I already sold one, the one that was open. I felt bad for the guy. I mean, the guy messaged me. He's like, you said these were, these were sealed. And I was like, Man, that's totally my fault. I, I own that. My I I thought the I thought it was sealed. Excuse me, one hundred percent. Thought it was sealed. I'm not sure how I missed that. I was like, if if I need to send you a partial refund, if there's any missing pieces or anything like that, feel free to to uh you know to to get back with me. Let me know. And I just never heard back from the guy. So I'm assuming he had it had all the pieces still. Um, because I would I'd probably given him half his money back. But um anyway, next thing it sold uh, a camera. I picked this up pretty cheap find this thing so i picked this thing up i think it was in a bundle of three or four cameras like two weeks ago i want to say not not too long ago uh and i wasn't sure but normally i pick up cameras especially if they're cheap enough you take a shot on them especially because this one had a bundle of four of them and i knew one of them was really good so it was just worth it to just grab the other ones and, and hope and well this one was another one the nikon one touch now it does have a crack on it and the the top cover will come off as well, if you kind of mess with it too much, it's, this, this cover will come off. But I tested it. It worked. Um, it's overall, other than that, it's in good condition. You could put a little bit of glue in there possibly if you want to try to, you know, do a, do a makeshift repair. The little lens is popped through. So that that's part of the other problem is you, you probably need to put a little drop of glue on that as well. But I did disclose that in the listing. Sold for $80 plus shipping. If it was fine and nothing on it, they sell for over $100. Um, so uh, pretty good sale there. That was probably the best sale out of the five. Uh, the next thing that sold was two other cameras. In fact, I think the other camera in this bundle was uh, in the same bundle that I picked up at the yard sale. Um, that's the HP. Let's see. Is this the Fuji film? That's the Fuji film. And the other one, I think, is an HP, no? Yeah, right here. Uh, Olympus, that's right. I think it's got the, I think this is the charger for it. Pretty sure, is it this one? Olympus FE340. FE340. So it's a shame, this camera... Um, I, I tested it when I first got it. It's an Olympus. I think it goes for like 70 bucks, 50 to 70. I can't remember exactly what it goes for. Um, but the guy got, I, when I tested it, it worked, it fired up, no problem. Everything seemed to be good. So I sold it once already. And the guy said it, uh, it, uh, the screen starts glitching out and stuff on it. And I was like, when you're starting to take pictures and things like that, and I was like, what? So he sent it back, gave him his money back. And um, so then I, I tested it again when I got it and it did do what he said it did does. And so I uh, put it up as parts and repair uh, that it works, um, holds a charge. It's got a new battery in it and everything, but it uh, screen messes up when you're trying to take pictures. It like turns black and white and gets all like gritty, like almost like a horror movie is how I, how I articulated it. Um, that is not the right charger i need the olympus charger so um so yesterday guy i had it up for like 19.99 i think it was is what i had it up for here it is olympus charger good deal so i had it up for oh do i not have the cord for it yeah i need the cord for it too um and the guy offered me 15 and then he bought another one of my my cameras as well so uh one that's working a fuji film so i'll show you guys that in a second but anyway it's uh Make sure this is the right. Yep. All right. So um, I wish, you know, it's a shame, but at least, you know, we sold it again and made a few bucks on it because I, I think I picked it up in a, in a bundle. So um, so this one sold for 15 for parts and repair. It's the Olympus with the charger, which has some glitchy thing going on with it. And then this one, Fujifilm. 
uh, which does work, just battery, old school battery, uh, Fuji film. Sold for, in fact, I think I had one just like this uh, growing up. Twenty-seven fifty. So there you go. So those two together, you know, twenty-seven fifty and fifteen dollars is going to the same person. And then the last thing that sold was uh, two. I typically sell the Wii U controllers and bundles because I normally, when I pick up a Wii, not Wii U, when I pick up a Wii, normally I get a bunch of extra controllers. And when I bundle a Wii console, I typically just need two controllers, sometimes just one. Uh, but I'll do uh, typically one or two controllers with a Wii bundle. Um, and normally, sometimes I get Wii bundles that have like four to six controllers because a lot of people, it's family type thing. So you got multiple controllers. I typically just sell them off separate. I clean them up really good, make them look nice. I even clean off, uh, take off the wrist straps because the wrist straps get really janky and nasty. So I take those off, clean, wash them with just some hot water and just rub them together really good and just kind of rub my nails through it and just get all that grime and stuff off and they turn out you know turn out really nice so get them nice and clean again and uh sell them as a pair for 20 bucks plus shipping so actually well 19 dollars plus shipping so there's that so that's it five sales 218 23 pretty pretty simple pretty quick not a whole lot going on today uh, i don't have anything else really to cover um yeah so this is gonna be a short video 16 minutes 15, under under 20 minutes a hey. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to jump off here, get this stuff packed up before it starts getting too hot. Cause it's still, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. So it's not terribly hot. I mean, it's getting there already, but, uh, it's not terribly hot yet. And, uh, before, uh, before it starts getting too hot out here. And then, uh, that's it for me guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully your sales are going well. Make sure you're listing, listing, listing. If you're, if you're not, and your sales are not doing well, just keep on listing, man. Keep on keeping on. Uh, or go out and source and get good stuff. So that way you can list and list good stuff. So that way you can start seeing them sales uh, and and, uh, and make some money. So enjoy the rest of your day. Drop comments if y'all have any comments, any questions, especially about the marketplace thing. Give me your experience on the marketplace portion. Um, that's all I got. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow. Let's when we have sales. Bye, guys.